You're now tuned into I Can Do That, the ultimate show brought to you by adolescent content. In this series, creators will be challenged to reimagine iconic images and videos. From album covers to music videos, we show you that the sky's the limit with a little creativity. Will these creators step up to the challenge or struggle to make it work? Let's find out. With no time to waste, let's meet this episode's creator. Hey guys, my name is Kendall Tara. I am 23 and I'm based in Salt Lake City, Utah. I am a filmmaker and a director. I also do photography. I love analog photography. My style is a little bit surreal and I love magical realism. Oftentimes, if I'm working for a client, I find myself doing outdoor filmmaking and verite, but if I'm able to do a passion project, I often just immediately gravitate towards anything that is fantasy, um, magical realism, I love anime, so that's kind of my style. So not too long ago, adolescent content asked me if I would be able to recreate a scene from my favorite movie or favorite TV show. This video is going to be all about recreating a scene from Sailor Moon, which is currently my favorite anime. When I think of Sailor Moon, I think of love, I think of food, I think of sleeping, I think of rest, I think of beating the bad guy, taking care of others, uh, friendship. Those are the kind of feelings that Sailor Moon makes me feel. And I hope that anyone who hasn't seen the show, if they check it out, they feel the same way too. I'm going to be recreating the first scene from the first episode of Sailor Moon. And in that scene, Usagi, she sleeps past her alarm and her mother calls down to her from the kitchen and tells her that she's running late. And Usagi wakes up in a panic and then trots down the stairs really fast, brushes her teeth, everything happens in like three seconds and then all of a sudden she's out the door. I was interested in the camera movement and the blocking of the actress and I was also really interested in bringing those larger than life emotions that happen in anime into live action. In the scene, Sailor Moon is wearing a blue pleated skirt and a crew neck and also a little sailor collar. So um, one other thing that I'll be looking for when I'm shopping are what are called hair donuts. They're these silly little, um, you just, there are these silly little donut looking foam things that you actually can um, pull your ponytail through and then make big buns. So I'm going to be doing that with my actress. So I'm gonna be looking for these hair donuts while I'm shopping. So next we're gonna go shopping and then when we're done shopping, we're gonna do the set design and the lighting and then we're gonna do the shoot itself and the edit. So I hope you guys are ready to gear up and come along. Okay, so I'm going shopping and I'm actually pretty excited. I hope we find some cool things. Okay, I'm going to get this um, 150 watt light to use for direct lighting as a spotlight. Okay, these were exactly what I had in mind. These clamp lights are gonna be perfect. So this is essentially just a um, lamp, like a, a socket to put those 100 watt lights into that we bought earlier. And the cord is six feet long, so we can hang the paper lantern. So one of the things I'm looking for is actually a little toy house that can act as the house that they show in the scene. Um, this just reminded me, I don't think this is quite what I'm looking for, but it is a step in the right direction. Okay guys, check it out. Found the streamers to do the backdrop. Okay, now we need an apron and maybe a small little home. I think that's everything. <laughs> okay, I'm at the thrift store. I'm with Rebecca and we are looking for wardrobe. Here we go. <laughs> this one is from American Beagle. This one's not bad. Do you like this one too? What's this one? I mean, this one was okay. Nice. Perfect. Okay. Okay, pink top. Oh, I'll hold it. <laughs> <laughs> this one's pretty cute. I see my butt. Okay, so let's keep looking. <laughs> okay, and then just turn and show me. Okay, so this is look number two. Very um, schoolgirl. Super schoolgirl. Cinches this waist part, but. Mm -hmm. Like that one is just a little bit lower. 
<laughs> not gonna do that look. No. Okay. Not yep. This is not it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys, it is the day of the shoot. So I just wanted to run you guys through the tools that I'll be using today. Ronin S. I'm just using this camera to pick up B-roll. I have tape, can light. We have our 100 watt lights. She's here. It's time to do it. I started the edit by first structuring out the sound. I didn't even want to take into account the visuals until later. So what I did was I intently listened to the original scene's audio and then went and found sound effects on a website or just on the internet that would match up to that audio. So what I did was I pulled in sound effects such as bird sounds or film grain, film pops, film crackles, and I pulled those in and I structured them out. When I started the edit, I wanted to just line up the cuts visually. So I went through and I first listened to try to find the best take of each one. And then once I found what was in my opinion as the director as the best take, I would pull it into the timeline and the other thing that I did is on the timeline, I had the original Sailor Moon scene on the top. I shrank it down to a small little square and left it on top of my actual footage. And then I focused on lining up the clips frame by frame, exactly down to the frame, matching it up to the original scene. I also did some work on the color. I wanted to brighten up the scene. The original scene is very bright. So I did some work on the color. I sometimes pulled it into the pinks and into the greens, depending on what the scene looked like in real life. This makes me feel good. I can't wait for you guys to watch this side by side. You're gonna laugh because it is so spot on. And I had so much fun. And if you haven't ever done a recreation before, it is so worth the challenge because it feels so rewarding to literally push yourself creatively and have it pay off. And the cool thing is, is you know what the outcome should be because it's already made. So it's, it's just been such a fun project and I can't thank Adolescent Content enough for the opportunity and for reaching out. If you liked this video, go check out Adolescent's other content. They just have across the board inspiring, motivational, educational good quality content worth checking out. Thank you guys so much for this opportunity. Thank you for your time. If you enjoyed hanging out with me, my name is Kendall Tara. That is my name on all social media across all platforms. And feel free to reach out, um, say hello. And thank you guys so much and have a great day. Have a great night, wherever you're tuning in from. Ciao for now. I'm Usagi Tsukino, 14 years old. I'm in the eighth grade. I'm just a little clumsy and a bit of a crybaby. That's about it. Usagi, it's past eight o'clock. Now that was a creative journey. How do you think Kendall did? Sound off in the comments below. We have more creative inspiration heading your way next week on an all new episode of I Can Do That. So keep this series locked by subscribing to Adolescent Content's channel, liking and sharing this video. That's a wrap.